Six the Badger is one of the newer Sonic characters to join Sonic and his team on their adventures. First appearing as part of the Sonic Boom franchise, the character's quirky nature has gained her a decent fan base over time. And Hiroyuki Miyazaki himself has called her a significant addition to the Sonic Boom universe and the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. So, to get better acquainted with the character, we've compiled a list of our favorite top 10 Sticks the Badger shocking facts. At number 10, her initial design. When the character was first conceived, Styx looked a little bit different than her current aesthetic. The character was supposed to have white sports tape, or maybe bandages, it's hard to tell which is which, wrapped around the bottoms of her hair rather than the brown ties that we now have. Perhaps this was for the best, considering how negative a reaction many Sonic fans had to the sports tape bandages thingies appearing on both Sonic and Knuckles. Styx was also supposed to have a singular eyelash on each eye, which was then changed to two in her final design. In at number 9, a valuable teammate. There's a whole lot of Sonic characters out there. So why was there a need to create a new one specifically for Sonic Boom? Aside from making her a local of this new world, there is a specific character story reason why Styx was added to Sonic's crew of pals. When Styx was created, the goal was to add a character to the Sonic Boom team that rounded off the cast. Styx is meant to add humor and surprise to the group, and to be more of a wild card in battles against Dr. Eggman. And at number 8, her likes and dislikes. In classic Sonic character nature, here we have a character profile of Styx. According to this profile, Styx is a wild card with a good heart, and a genuine desire to get closer to her new friends. Her likes include BFF Amy Rose, hunting, and her burrow, whereas her dislikes include life outside of the burrow, her shadow, and formal occasions. Gotta love that burrow life. And at number 7, Fancy Styx. Despite disliking formal occasions, Styx cleans up pretty well. During the episode My Fair Styxie, Styx is invited to a fancy gala called the Awardy Awards after saving the town from a meteor shower, which leads to her admitting to the gang that she doesn't know how to behave in polite society. This launches into an episode that mimics the outline of the famous film My Fair Lady. Except with a badger, and Sonic. Plus, there's a few goof ups in this episode that fans have noticed. The first being that Styx is missing her eyelashes when learning how to hold a teacup, and another when she rips off her dress at the end of the episode, revealing that she's wearing her furry boots despite just previously wearing high heels. Up next to Styx, Nika Futterman. Styx is played by Nika Futterman in both the animated show and the Sonic Boom video games. Aside from this, Futterman has a massive list of other credits, including playing Gamora in Avengers Assemble, Catwoman in Batman the Brave and the Bold, Olga in Hey Arnold, shout out to those who remember that show, and a bunch of different characters from the Star Wars animated shows. Futterman also voices Styx in Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. And at number 5, Paranoia. Styx has a bit of a tendency to get easily paranoid. She's not the most trusting individual and tends to have a lot of outrageous suspicions, although often she's got a knack for her gut feelings being accurate. Styx is also quite superstitious, tends to sense danger or conspiracy theories wherever she goes, and often this leads to the character being rather stressed out. She's also very skeptical of the government and thinks they're behind a lot of shady activities, including mind controlling the public. In our number 4 spot, her singing voice. While Styx may be a badger of many talents, specifically when it comes to her boomerang and her speed, there are some things that she's not overly great at. This includes the likes of singing. Her singing voice has been likened to bagpipes and a wood chipper. <laughs> and has even set off Tails' disaster o meter. Harsh. Up next at 3, Buster. Buster the Slimebot is Styx's pet. Or rather, was her pet. Buster was created by Dr. Eggman. But despite this, Styx still adored him and showered him with kindness, a trait she doesn't often extend to most. Styx is typically disgusted by cuteness, which is why she found Buster's grossness adorable. At one point, she even turned against Sonic and the team to defend Buster, and refused to hurt Buster after Eggman turned him against her. Eventually, she realized that her pet was too dangerous, so she released him at the end of episode 4 of season 1 of the animated show. Up next, number 2, her beliefs. Bill Freiberger, the exec producer, head writer, and co-showrunner of the Sonic Boom animated series, has said that Styx was shaped by his message. I quote, Sometimes when referring to a work of fiction, you'll hear the phrase, author's message, regarding a speech or a bit of dialogue. Well, Styx is very often delivering my message. She often represents my point of view and belief system. That's why she'll say something seemingly absurd, and by the end of the episode, she'll be proven correct. And finally, in at number 1, the anti-hero. In addition to that, Freiberger also dived deeper into the kind of character that Styx is, and gave her an equivalent from another famous comic. He said, I quote, In my opinion, what Styx brings to the team is a healthy dose of cynicism. While the others generally have traditional hero personalities, Styx is more of an anti-hero. She's kind of like a comedic Rorschach from Watchmen. Now that's some pretty big shoes to fill. Alright, there we have it friends. How do you guys feel about Styx? Great addition to the Sonic canon or unnecessary little badger? Let us know your thoughts in those comments below. Now if you dug this video, please show us some love by hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And please don't forget to check out our channel for more great videos including a ton on Sonic the Hedgehog. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody, catch you all in the next video.